Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Adam and this is Not Your Father's Board Games. Thanks for listening. This episode wraps up our series of playing Islebound, but it's worth noting that we still haven't actually finished the game. We all got pretty tired after about four hours of playing and decided to call it a night around 2 a.m. We took some pictures of the board in hopes of picking up where we left off, so be on the lookout for another series on the second half of Islebound. In the meantime, let's get back to the game. We're doing something wrong. We cannot be like. I don't know if we're doing anything wrong so much as we're really just not taking a lot of action. We've played like two, two, two games of Above and Below at this point. Uh, I wouldn't say that. No, nah, it's coming More up on. Half. I've got. This is going into our third hour of gameplay. It took four to complete Above and Below. Damn. The first hour. That's not counting an hour of setup. Okay. A very, I'll say, lax hour of setup where we were really not in a rush. I could see this ramping up quickly. It's definitely ramped up because Mike is conquering everything, but... He's not conquering everything. Hey. He's set, like, three places on fire with the sea monsters. I control, hey. I control more places than Mike does. <laughs> Do you? No, you don't. You got your home base and you, you control got two. The equal. same number. I control equal places that Mike does. <laughs> Adam, it's your turn to control. Some sh- You've got mad influence. I do. Come in hot, bro. Uh, let me see my options here. You've got fucking Six, eleven seven, influence. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, you have. And a you have a fucking. You have and a. Person, I have a, a, a boost. Speaky influence. You could get Farworld if you want. I could get Farworld now. Assuming he didn't exhaust. That no, game. I just he have. Didn't. Nah, he's still there. Frog. No. Frog dude is fresh. Come in hot, bro. Frog bro is hella fresh. Mm. That's twelve going. That's twelve coins for you too. Ooh. So don't fuck it up. What's going on at that uh, event there in the middle? Uh, Bell's, Bell's Garden. Garden. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's a fight. That's oh, a fight that's, of four. That's, that's a, ooh. You got no fighters. Nah, Captain Mal ain't a fighter. He he fights when he needs to. He don't pick fights. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was low effort. <laughs> I, I may have unintentionally actually built the cast of Firefly <laughs> as, like, influential. <laughs> you can do it, I believe. I built you. the reputation of Malcolm Reynolds completely unintentionally. Um, let's go to Far World. Do, 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 do. Um, Leave two, Zillium. Three. Yep. No, the other one. No, Far World's one under it. Yeah. Uh, Two, three. Oh, yeah. 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 Leaves Uh, Zillium, passes Borsham, and docks at Far World. And... Far Wold. Far Wold. Far Wold. Uh, So I get... Oh, that's if I visit. You you will visit if you take it over. I will visit, yes. So we're going to sweet talk them. So I have enough. Yeah. What... do I have to exhaust my guy, or is that enough you, on there? You, you have to exhaust you your guy. It will, it will cost everything marbles. you have and your guy. Okay, so we'll do that. Some pretty serious marbles are going on right now. Captain Mal steps aboard the seaport and says, I run you bitches. What's cooking good looking? <laughs> no, that's, a, that's only if Inara shows up. Uh, furthermore, that happens. Yes, I get a trumpet. You get a trumpet. Let's see what you can pick your trumpet. What I'm, yeah, I'm gonna see what. Uh, that's one reputation for every house. I only have one house, and one reputation per book. Mm. So really, either one is the same. <laughs> but this applies to everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have. How many books do you have? You have no books. Do, do you have Mike books? does not have books. You have books? You have, have two books. books. You Everybody have two gets books. one. Um, and you have one building, and or okay, but Jimmy has like three buildings. Two, two buildings. This is this is a first player card. Oh, either oh. whichever one you choose doesn't. It doesn't make much of a difference for me. Yeah. But you can give Mike less basically <laughs> by choosing the book one. We're gonna do the book one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the last time anything even remotely close to this happened, 
like when you and I were trading shit in above and below, he <laughs> still was like, fuck all y'all and just beat us. <laughs> so I get to go up to seven with that, right? Uh, but the activator goes first. I, so. Yes. So you gain one renown for the card, and then one renown one, for I have the a book. book. Yeah. And then Jimmy gains two renown because he has two books. Yes. One tool. So he gets two Thank pirates. y'all, sir. And, okay, you put a little block for me on there. And, oh, oh no, that was the visiting part. Yep. Oh, wait, I didn't get my spoils. You didn't. I didn't Isn't there you. money? Yeah, there's fucking 12. There's yeah. 12 whole monies, so you can buy some things with your 12 whole monies. Bro. Yeah. I can see how this For, game can accelerate. Furthermore, he gains one wood or two fish. Uh, Let me have a wood. I'm kind of low on wood. There you go. That is not how this game works. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you got to be diversified, man. <laughs> how big is your hold right now? Yeah, what do you, uh, what's going on I there? still have five fish. And three wood. Right. So I'm, I'm under ten. I'm good. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. Let's do this one. The crown... No, sorry. The town hall. Which is six monies. And I believe I surrender my book for that? No. Or just because I have... Okay. It requires that you have a book. Gotcha. Next drawn is the coal shop. And with that, it's pretty serious. my turn is over. I feel like with above and below, there's a more, there's a clearer path, almost, you know. But with this, it's kind of just like. Well, it's much more. The path you walk is the right path. Right. It's not even that it's clearer. The uh, the encounters give, like you get stuff from them, mm-hmm. but they don't really dictate the outcome of the game. You just get loot. This shit is tough, man. This is everything dictates everything. This is really tough. This is like exceptionally difficult. So what I'm thinking is I'm, I'm thinking like very super turbo. Holy shit! This game is insane. This game is fucking nuts. I'm gonna go here. I'm going to leave Sun's Rest, pass Farwold with lowercase F. Pass Fell's Garden with a lowercase f, uppercase g, and arrive at the grotto. In the grotto, I will visit, and I'll spend one gold coin. Mike will remind me it goes to the treasure because I would put it in the supply otherwise. You would. I will gain one, two, three, four fish plus five, six for the two hands I have on deck. You have six fish on deck. Well, in your hold. I have six fish on deck. I have... I have the ability to buy a couple buildings. Gain a lock when you visit Borsham. I can buy that. No, I can't. I can buy that later. All right. I need to visit fucking Stratic. I can't do any of these things. Wow. The fucking strategy in this is fucking nuts. Um... I don't have any money to spend on anything. I don't have any events. That's the end of my turn. Yep. <clears throat> I'm not attacking. I can only afford a four four attack. Well, I'm gonna sail my little ass right over here to Zillum. And I am going to diplomat them. You're gonna diplomat Zillum? Three, six, seven, eight. They are a seven. They have been diplomatsed. They belong to me. I gain seven gold. A I gain the benefits of visiting them, which means I can exhaust a dude and spend a fish or a board in order to gain two books. I'm going to exhaust one of my deck hands and one of my... And... And Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Fred. In order to gain two books. Beefy. Furthermore, I am going to buy the Serpent Breeder. What's that do? Oh, it gives me a serpent when I visit Borsham. It's very specific. That is very specific. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. The next guy is a Sailor's Guild. Plus one renown at the end of the game per people, per villager, per crew members with two skills. Hmm. That's a pretty good one, actually. Uh, gonna end my turn. 
Alright. Um, I would like to return to my port so my homies can rest. You do so. So. You gain a pirate. And I got me a pirate, and. Can you flip the buildings toward me? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. The construction yard would be very convenient early game. Yeah. But now wait, me going home. Are we early game? I don't know if we're early. Yeah, it's hard to tell. <laughs> me going back to my home port, does that count as an action, like the visit, or it's just yeah. Yes. Yep. Oh, okay. You visit. All right. That's how you bed. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna spend five money for that first one there. For an extra money every time I treasure hunt. And that goes over there. Yes, it does. And... And you unlock the market. To market, to market. Plus three gold copper when you ally a town. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait. Is that the same as sweet-talking them? That That is exactly what sweet-talking is. Oh. That is a juicy card. That is a plump and juicy card. And that will end my turn. Thank you, sir. Now my turn. Do it. I'll be leaving the grotto, as I have to. Passing lowercase fell, uppercase G, garden. <laughs> landing in Stratic. Stratic is going to be subject to my influence. Oh, you're going to diplomat them. I now own Stratic. And I can build for free at Stratic. Well, not quite for free. Not quite for free. I can build without paying one gold and one administrative fee. And I will do so to build a coal shop. Tool uh-huh. shop? Coal shop? Not that one. Oh, yeah. Tool shop. Tool shop. Does it have Tim the Tool Man, Taylor? It says plus three renown at the game if you own Stratic. Two wood, two fishy. Two fishy, two wood. I see. Down, down, down. And I reveal the armory. Plus renown per unused crew pirate member at the end of the game. Ooh. Hello. You've been stocking up on pirates. And I have completed my action. So I am only allowed to build if I have money or do events, which I cannot do either of. Is your turn, Mike? Well. Well, well, well. This is a tough fucking game. It's involved. Involved. Guys, it's 130. You got this. <laughs> I believe in you. All right. I'm going to return to my home port of Crimsica. I'm gonna rest up my dudes. It's resty, my dudes. Ah! And my monster trainers have a sea serpent ready for me. Hmm. Freshly hatched. Not bad. And I'm going to pay one book to gain a influence. (sighs) That's gonna end my turn. All right. Adam, sir. So Adam is at Marhaven. He went home as well. I am at Marhaven. Marhaven. Adam can travel three tiles away. What's... Uh, you have quite a reach, actually. Yeah. Everything is becoming taken. Sepia. Is the world is in sepia. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from settling, from stopping at one of these ports. You just, you know, need to pay me. Or mm. you can you can try to take it at an advantage advan- or disadvantage of two points. You can try to take anything, not try. Yeah, how does that work? We haven't done like PvP. So, if for example you try, someone try to take your farwold, mm. they would need to score at least fourteen points. Either way, because it's blue or... And what are you... Red. So what's the roll like? I, I, it... No, I need a... You, it's 14, well, they... 14 instead of 12. It's a 14. So you see how these are two? Oh, okay. I need seven 
fours. So I need to roll. I need seventy of these guys, and they all need to roll a four in order for me to take that from you. Damn. Uh, or I need fourteen influence points. Yeah. Serenity has been very passive. Not what? afraid of a challenge, just ill-equipped. Now. Red October is sailing like it's piloted by Sean Connery. <laughs> Red October is flying like Sean Connery preparing for a kamikaze mission. Just, <laughs> ah! Uh, and I, it's not even worth, like, just going to the grotto, because I'm already... I have had the same fish this whole game. These fish are going bad. I, I'm sailing around with a boat of There are rotten places fish. for you to spend your fish. What's the one right above me? Zillium. You Let's... can spend fish and people to get books. How many fish? One fish and one person per book. You can come to my son's rest to spend two fish per active person. You don't have to spend the person to get a sea serpent. Wait, two fish per person is one sea serpent? Yeah, and you don't have to exhaust those people. But you also have to pay an extra coin to me. The, well, actually, no. The coin you pay is to me because... Oh, it's not extra. No. Okay. That actually doesn't mm -hmm. sound bad. Um, yeah, I'll go there because I feel like I'm going to need to kind of bulk up my defenses and I have a pirate, so like I can pull off two sea serpents. So, so where are you going? To wherever the, the name of the place is. Adam leaves Marhaven, goes through Underval. Lands at Sun's Rest, which belongs to the SS. Oh god, what did I name my ship? Mothership Zeta. That pays me one coin to visit. There is a token for your hospitality, and I spend four fish for two of my people to get two sea serpents. Yes. And the fish go in there the There you pile. go, perfect. And you get two sea Can I see the rulebook? Yeah. This is for no, you don't get the fish. Reference. No, I don't get the fish. You don't get I the know fish. I don't get the fish. This is Mo and Larry. Hey! You're going to lose them in two seconds. I, I don't know. know why you're naming them. Those poor, <laughs> those poor fucking creatures. Now I have room for more stinky fish. All right. So you made your move. You made your action. Would you like to make any free actions? Uh, How many books you got? Uno. All right, you can buy these three. Uno. Um, what's the library? Plus one reputation when you... Plus one renown when you give a book. Gain. Gain a book. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a good early game one, too. Yeah. Part of me wants to buy it just to further the end of this game, but it really doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> We're only halfway there. That's the incredible part. I don't even know. I, I, like, who has the most buildings right now? Jimmy. How many do you have? We, we both have three. Oh um, my god. So We have been playing for three goddamn hours. Yeah. <laughs> this was not as advertised. <laughs> this is like the first time we played T-Call and it was three and a half hours. No, this is, this is not even close to that. <laughs> We're on a journey. Oh man, this is definitely a journey. All right, just in the interest of furthering this game along. Um, oh, no, I don't just want to... How much money I got? All right, yeah. Give me the book one. The what? The library. Oh. Uh, wait, what's, what's this one? The... the Sailor's Guild gives you one renown at game end per crew member that has two skills. Okay, that's just fish, man. Or Lizard Man, whatever I've been calling him. But that is guaranteed. Books have been somewhat scarce. Uh, yeah, give me the library. Oh, thank you. And you have revealed the Mercenary Guild. Gain one pirate crew member when you buy a house or building. Oh, fuck. That's a good one. Really? I don't know. If you buy something and you get a pirate... That's a good one when you're me. Yeah, when you're, <clears throat> when you're pillaging everything. <laughs> you get a pirate every time you buy a building. That's not bad. Especially because it's moving into late game and people are going to want to start buying more. Okay. That's, that, that ain't bad. But I'm here picking I'm... up what you guys are putting down. All right, all right. Thanks again for listening to this episode of Not Your Father's Board Games. 
Remember to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Podbean to keep up with new episodes posted every Friday. We'll see you all next week for our next series, Betrayal at the House on the Hill.